the patients do. So if they knew how to prevent it, why wouldn't they do it in themselves? And then the third problem is the patients. The patients don't want to spend the time to learn how to be well. They want a quick fix. They feel they've been cheated if they go to the doctor and he doesn't give them a prescription. So the problems are on all sides. If a patient wants to be well, they can go to my website, get the information, learn how to do it, and never be sick another day in their life. It's been, it's been now 19 years since my cancerous tumor first appeared. I am totally well and cancer-free. And if you go on my website at www.drday.com, you'll see I had a tumor the size of a softball on my chest. And it was biopsied at both Loma Linda University and Scripps Hospital in La Jolla, showing that it was cancer. And I am totally well. I had no chemotherapy, no radiation, and no mastectomy. You can get well, but there's no quick fix. You've got to be willing to change everything in your life because you made yourself sick, whether you want to admit it or not. And the first step in getting well is admitting that you made yourself sick. I, I would probably have a real hard time. <laughs> I, I, my, I think I would have a hard time giving up the uh, occasional steak or hamburger. And, I, and of course, we've already talked about my inability to give up riding a motorcycle. But Well, but you have to see, you have to look at it this way. When you're a child and mom says, you know, eat this because it's good for you, you do it because mom says so. When you grow up, instead of growing up, we just grow into bigger bodies and we say, now I can do whatever I want and I can abuse my body. You see, there are ten natural health laws. Just like there's a law of gravity. And if you don't like the law of gravity, or if you abuse the law of gravity, if you say, I'm not going to obey the law of gravity, you can go up to a high building and you can jump and you're going to go down. You're not going to go up. You're not going to stay where you were. You're going down and you may kill yourself. So there are 10 laws of health. And you can either learn to live within them and live a long and healthy life, or you can say, I don't want to have anything to do with those. I want to live the way I want. Well, then there are consequences to that. When you do that, you have to realize that you're going to shorten your life expectancy and you may die a premature, very painful death, but you did it to yourself. And you have to say, you know, I don't want to give up my steak. And again, everybody has the right to do what they want, but there are always consequences to it. And you may think differently when you're in a hospital dying of colon cancer or something like that. You might say, well, I, just, I don't think I should have really done that. But everybody can do what they want, but they're going to have to pay the price for it. Okay, we got to take a break here. We'll be right back. If you've got a uh, question, here's one of the numbers. to the words between the lines. the news behind the news and the methods you can use. It's a blueprint and the plan they all rely on. And it's written in the protocols for the red elders of Zion. Thank you for listening. Being a part of Life Change Tea has been an exhilarating experience. I love the testimonies. Julie in New York writes, I love this product. I feel great. It worked immediately. You can feel the cleansing right away. Other products don't work right away like this one does. Mrs. Luella from Missouri writes, My daughter has lost 27 pounds. She loves the tea. And David from Tennessee writes, My wife has a lot of digestive problems and the tea really helps her a lot. I like it too. And here's my favorite from CJ in Minnesota. He writes, this stuff really works. No, I, I mean it really works. No, I mean it really works. Be one of the many testimonies that we receive every month. Order today online at getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. Or you can call us at 928-308-0408. You know the number, 928-308-0408. Be our next testimony. You love us, and we love you. The views and opinions expressed on this network by the hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of Liberty Broadcasting Network, its sponsors, affiliates, or hosts. The U.S. dollar is in so much trouble. According to the international forecaster Bob Chapman, he says the dollar in 2010 lost 23% of its value. Silver is one of the smartest things you can get to make sure that you are ready for whatever the economy may do 
in 2011 or 2012. Call Paul Drockton. His phone number 330-636-6292. Tell Paul that CJ sent you. Getting a hold of this is your way of getting prepared for whatever the economy may do, whatever the dollar will do as the financial collapse continues to happen here in America. Ben Bernanke says a slow collapse is what they want. Tim Geithner says that America is insolvent. Getting silver is one of the best things you can do to get ready for whatever the dollar will do, whatever happens with the economy in America. Call Paul at 330-636-6292 and tell Paul he wants some silver. Tell him that CJ sent you. Again, 330-636-6292. Can you handle the truth? This is an emergency alert. People don't die of H1N1 infection. They die from system-wide intoxication and toxic shock. Doctors call it the cytokine storm following infection and immune hyperstimulation. Vaccines with immune stimulants or toxic drugs chemicalize your body, adding to your death risk. Prevent death and reverse diseases from infections, vaccinations, and drug toxicity. Call this number to get my free special report about the flu and what to do to save lives, maybe even your own. I'm Dr. Leonard Horowitz. Order Zeolife, the world's most powerful broad-spectrum detoxifier, immune system guard, and vaccine cleanse. Avoid vaccinations and drugs. Use Zeolife and OxySilver Hydrosol instead to detox and de-germ your body. Stop the shock of toxicity and preventable deaths. Call 1-888-KO-GERMS. That's 1-888-KO-GERMS. Or visit zeolife.net and oxysilver.net and order your free report and package special. Refreshing the Liberty Movement. This is Liberty Broadcasting Network. All right. Lorraine Day is my guest today, Dr. Lorraine Day. And, and, Lorraine, what about AIDS? What was AIDS? What happened there? You were attacked. You mentioned earlier you'd been attacked a lot. And, and you were really come down on for talking about AIDS. What happened there? What was that? Well, uh, what I was speaking out was for healthcare worker safety for AIDS and for safety for the AIDS patient. I wanted everyone to be tested for AIDS, whether they were healthcare workers or patients, so everybody could protect, be protected on both sides. I thought that when we operate on AIDS patients, we should be able to know if they had AIDS, because we would have to take special precautions that are very too, too expensive to take on every single patient. I thought that it was right for an AIDS pa uh, patient or any other patient to know if the doctor who was operating on the patient had AIDS because if we get stuck while we're doing an operation and bleed into your wound, which can happen, uh, then the patient has a right to know if the doctor who's operating on them has AIDS and has a right to choose a different doctor if they want. So I was asking for responsibility on both sides, but at the beginning I didn't know, although I soon learned, that AIDS, uh, there's a special agenda for AIDS. AIDS is part of population control. And it was man-made. It was made at Fort Detrick, Maryland in the Biological uh, Warfare Division. And it was purposely put in the uh, smallpox vaccinations in Africa. It was put in the hepatitis C vaccinations given to the AIDS community because they knew they would spread it like wildfire. So AIDS is a political disease. And uh, whenever you're speaking common sense, which I was, and by the way, 20 years later, everything I asked to be done has now been done, but it's been done after the cow is out of the barn, so it's useless. Uh, but, but everything has been done. I don't find journalists lining up at my door telling me I was right 20 years ago, which, of course, as you know, never happened. Uh, I was attacked viciously because... 
um, I, the way the way to avoid getting AIDS in 95% of cases is to stop doing what gives you AIDS. And, and nobody was willing to do that. And AIDS is just another form of cancer, and cancer is caused by the